Hello and thanks for joining me, your Sport Pilot James Blue. On another exciting episode of Sport Vibe on DNT World, we'll bring you exciting and latest sport happenings across the world of sport every Tuesday. This week won't be an exception, so I'll implore you to please stay tuned because we'll be right back shortly after this break. Welcome back to Beautiful Tuesday and taking you on a ride in the world of sports. We start from the world of tennis, talking about Yannick Sinner, the world number one, who has won the ATP Finals, defeating Taylor Rift at the Finals of the particular competition. The 23 years old man enjoying the year 2024 and having it to himself has won one of the prestigious competition in the world of tennis and becomes the first Italian man to be able to win the ATP Finals in the history of tennis. Is the 23 years old man has also followed the footsteps of Roger Federer and Nova Djokovic to become the third man in the world of tennis to have been able to win the United States Open, the Australian Open, and the ATP Finals in the same year. Remember, this year has been an incredible year for Yannick Sinner as he maintains his spot at the top of the ATP ranking ahead of his rival Carlos Akaret and one of the great S of all time in the world of tennis. We will talk about Nova Djokovic. Yannick Sina 2024 is your year and keep shining. Let's see if the 23 years old man will be able to continue with this form and step into the shoes of the greats in the world of tennis. Remember, we can't stop watching Yannick Sina and Carlos Akares, the young talents in the world of tennis right now. But let's switch our attention to the world of football where we know that the international break has just been concluded where we saw players playing for their various countries. I'm talking about countries we talk about an interesting one coming from Ghana where Ghana failed to qualify for the African Cup of Nations for the first time in over two decades. You remember that Ghana only finished below and at the bottom of their group, Group F, and the qualifiers of the African Cup of Nations. It was a very sad one for Ghana, the fourth time winners of the African Cup of Nations not been able to participate in the 35th edition of the African Cup of Nation. A very sad one for Ghana, but an interesting one for Nigeria. But we'd rather talk about the Nigerian news. Let's go to the Nigerian professional football league after being able to watch some matches during the weekend in the Nigerian professional football league. You are ahead of the weekend. You remember that Remo Stars and Rivers United are head to head and following each other at the top of the Nigerian Professional Football League. These two sides faced each other during the weekend and it ended a goalless draw between them and this means that the Remo Stars are sitting at the top of the Nigerian Professional Football League as things stand right now. They are followed closely by the Rivers United team who has 22 points at the second position of the Nigerian Professional Football League and at the third position, Ayimba United occupying that spot with 20 points and also Enugu Rangers sitting at the fourth position at the Nigerian Professional Football League table and interesting one for the Nigerian Professional Football League but let's talk about the team Nigeria who has qualified for the Africa Cup of Nations that will be taking place in Morocco in the year 2025 remember that Ghana lost out of that competition but Nigeria has proceeded even before their last match in the African Cup of Nations qualifiers was an interesting one for Nigeria to top their league table and come out strong to qualify for the African Cup of Nations as expected with 
Team Nigeria not be participating in the African Cup of Nations in the year 2024. It will be a shocking one for Team Nigeria, but we can go there to win in the year 2025 African Cup of Nations and the 35th edition that will be taking place in Morocco. You remember the last time we participated in the African Cup of Nations, Nigeria finished second behind Ivory Coast. It's going to be an interesting outing to watch in the African Cup of Nations that will be taking place in Morocco. But quickly, let's go on a very short break. And when we write back, we continue right from where we stop. J.K. Royal Signatures, a blend of African fabric. Welcome back and continue from where we start talking about teams that have qualified for the African Cup of Nations. We can gladly mention to you that Nigeria has qualified for the African Cup of Nations. We won't be seeing the teams like Togo in the African Cup of Nations. We'll be seeing Senegal, we'll be seeing Egypt, we'll be seeing Algeria, and we'll be seeing Cameroon participating in the African Cup of Nations, the 35th edition that will be taking place in Morocco. Definitely the host country, Morocco, had an automatic qualification but that didn't stop them from participating in the qualifiers in which they topped their group and finished strong to participate at the competition that will be taking place on their home soil in the year 2025 and also quickly let's talk about another interesting one in the world of football where we'll switch our attention to the UEFA National League where we saw so many matches being played over the week and during the weekend where England continue to impress under their interim manager who has had his final match with England and you remember that England were able to win around five goals to zero in the final match under their interim manager and as such we'll be seeing Thomas Tuku taking charge of the England team remember the German manager was appointed after Southgate decided to leave England will the German international be able to do the duty with the England team will he be able to take them to the glory that they seek in the world of football and also talking about the UEFA National League we talk about teams facing each other we talk about Italy and France remember that the previous meeting between Italy and France Italy were able to defeat France three goals to one but this time around France saw the revenge that they deserve defeating Italy three goals as this both side qualifies for the quarterfinals of the UEFA National League this means that Belgium is out front of the competition a sad one for Belgium who couldn't get a win to qualify for the quarterfinals of the UEFA National League but an interesting one for Italy and France qualifying for the quarterfinals of the UEFA National League and also talking about teams that have qualified for the UEFA National League quarterfinals we talk about Team Germany we talk about Netherlands we talk about Spain and we talk about Portugal qualifying for the next round at the knockout phase of the UEFA National League and talking about the Team Portugal who fail to talk about their talisman and their captain Cristiano Ronaldo who found the back of the net with an interesting back heel goal and this means that Ronaldo after a win against Poland has been able to become the player with the highest international wins in the world of football surpassing the likes of Sergio Ramos and E.K. Casillas in the world of football. Cristiano Ronaldo will be clocking 40 years in the year 2025 has not failed to give us an interesting memories in the world of football and he's not stopping anytime soon in the world of football. It's another interesting one to bring to you knowing fully well that the Formula 1 will be back next week and we'll be seeing Vax Vax Tapping and Lando Lores going head to head in the last three games in the world of Formula 1. We'll be able to win the Formula 1 Drivers' Championship 
Max Verstappen stands a chance of winning the Drivers' Championship if he has been able to get a podium as the Las Vegas. And another interesting one is that we'll be seeing the Premier League and every other club football back and then talking about the Premier League. We'll be seeing Manchester City welcoming Tottenham at the Premier League match that will be taking place this weekend. It's going to be an interesting one to watch. Will Manchester City be able to get back to their winning form? you remember that Tottenham were the first team to started defeating Manchester City in their four loose streak that they had before the international break and talking about the Premier League also talk about the other side of Manchester Manchester United will be seeing their manager their new manager we talk about Robin Amore managing their team for the first time against Ipswich in the Premier League as they'll be going to Ipswich to play during the weekend in the Premier League will Ipswich be able to upset them remember Ipswich are going to face Manchester United having gotten their first win in the Premier League against Tottenham before the international break. Will this be an incredible outing for Ipswich or will the honeymoon of Ruben Amaron be starting against Ipswich after the international break? And this is the length at which we'll be going on this week's episode of Sport Vibe on DNT Walk. For more news and sports stories, follow us across our various social media handles at DNT Walk. Enjoy your week, remain blessed, and a law abiding citizen. Thank you.